What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this. Actually, going down. Apparently, this is for real. Shotgun Sug and Av and going down in a battle rap celebrity boxing match. Two big heavyweighters literally going down and doing what so many people have tried and attempted to do over the years and somebody finally capitalizing off of it. remember they've been trying to do this for a few years now battle rap celebrity boxing match by which they were trying to get a lot of guys who had grudges against each other to get in the ring and box for the bag and it never ever fell through you had a lot of people that were willing to do it and actually called out a people a couple people but it never went through. But apparently it seems like this is actually going down now. You have sponsors involved and everything. And let's just keep it real. Y'all ain't been paying attention. Shotgun should just get into that bag, okay? And he's making a lot of things happen. I'm actually, I got to do a blog on bro. Uh, giving him uh, a lot of love on what he's doing. The only thing it is, he need to learn what he believe in. He don't know. He don't have the history and knowledge of Islam. I don't think. Well, I know he don't know because if you knew about it and you really searched it and read and studied it and you knew what it was about, you wouldn't be involved in it. And I just have to always warn brothers and give them awareness on this thing because this is actually really serious. And when you die in that religion. Like all these other false religions, you're going to go straight to hell. And when you care about somebody, you don't want that to happen. And even though I don't know him personally, I do have respect for his brother. And any other brother, too. They go for the arsenals, anybody that's involved in his trash. The B-dots and all them brothers. Because it shouldn't have to be this way. And just denying Jesus Christ is terrible, man. When that's the only one love you so much, he died for your sins so you won't have to go to hell. And I don't see why people are shamed at that when that should be something you should be embracing and grateful about and appreciative of. But other than that, I want the brother to have success, especially when you think the legal way and you're not in the street selling dope and you're not robbing and sticking up people. So shots out to him for capitalizing legally and doing things the legal way to actually provide for his family and loved ones. But yeah, this boxing match is definitely going on and it's going down. So apparently so far, this is what I'm hearing we having. So we have Shotgun Sugar going to be boxing Av, Woody going to be boxing Stiz, Mike P going to be boxing Muslim Poppy. Okay, so do, 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 I like the matchup. They all seem to be around the same weight class, Stiggs and Gwitty, both two tall, slim brothers. They seem to be in the same weight class, so it shouldn't be a disadvantage to neither one of them there. I don't really know who might win because I don't know how brothers really get down. Talking is one thing. Action is another thing. But I want to see it. I want to see it. I don't care. Look, I love boxing. Boxing is one of my favorite sports too. But but uh beside NBA, okay? So I watch boxing anyway. Shotgun Shug and Av, I want to see this for a number of reasons. For a long time, we used to hear about Shotgun Shug and the um trick trick situation, and it raised a lot of questions and speculation. Could he really throw them hands like that? We're going to get to see that. Now, Av, too. Av have been questioned on certain things. Could he really throw his hands like that? And for these brothers to both volunteer to get in the ring like that, we have to give them the benefit of the doubt because it will be pay per view. People is going to be watching them. They still battle rappers. So not looking too good in there is going to be bad on them and will be used against them for the rest of their careers. I'm just keeping it real, especially when you lose. So my advice to them big brothers like that, and shouts out to them for working out, training, maybe slimming down on a lot of that weight. Shouts out to y'all for good health. Please wear jargon suits. 
please wear jargon suits. <laughs> Sweatband jargon suit. Don't come in there wearing no damn shorts. <laughs> There's only three rounds. You can stand it. Hell, save us the eye pain. So, shouts out to them on that. Who I got winning, I don't know. I would love to see it. I know they're going to be tired as hell. I know they're going to be tired as hell. I know they ain't going to be bouncing around. We're going to see a lot of toe-to-toe because they can't afford to waste no damn type of energy, okay? I think the winner of this fight is the one who's not going to be exhausted because anytime you put two fat dudes in the ring and they boxing each other, exhaustion and fatigue come in very quick. So the one who's going to be less fatigued is going to be the one who may end up winning as a result of not being tired. It ain't going to be so much the punches. It's going to be who who be tired. So be prepared to see something real sloppy. That, that match might could get very sloppy. Trust me. I speak about this through experience of knowing by watching a lot of boxing how sometimes this stuff play out. Especially seeing that they not really professional, so they don't even really train like that. So that could get sloppy. Mike P versus Muslim Poppy. See, that's another thing. I don't know the brother, but he's saying he's a Muslim. Every time I hear a black person mention they're Muslim, I already know they don't study. They don't read. They don't study. Why? Because Muhammad was a white man. He was a racist white man who didn't like black people. He hated black people. Okay? Even in those countries over there, if you were to say Muhammad was black, the penalty is automatic death. That's a fact. All through the Hadith, the lit- the the uh, the historical writings of the life of their prophet Muhammad 1,400 years ago, all through their uh, history, uh, Islamic historical writings, he's a white man. He's a white man. Matter of fact, I keep this stuff on hand just in case somebody try to argue it or debate it. Let me show it to you. Um, Right here. Let me show it to you. Right there. Muhammad was a white man. Okay. Anif B. Malik reported. A man entered the mosque on a camel, made it kneel down, and tied his legs with rope. He then asked, who among you is Muhammad? The messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him. He was sitting, leaning upon something among them, and we said to him, this white man, this white man who was leaning. Then the man said, O son of Abdul al-Muttalib, the prophet, peace be upon him. See, that's another thing. Every time they say his name, they have to say, peace be among him. You know why? Because they, they don't even know that they worship him. Because the name Muhammad means the one to be praised. The one to be praised. So in their religion, every time they mention his name, they have to say peace be upon him because they have to praise him because his name means the one to be praised. And don't forget, he had a six-year-old wife when he was 51 years old. There you go right there. A six-year-old wife when he was 51 years old and he was fully having sex with this young girl while he calling himself a prophet of God. They also didn't like, he also was a racist who didn't like black people. Remember, look what I show you right here. All these are Islamic sources. These are not Christian sources. These are historical fact, background checking of his life and what he stood for and what he taught and what he represented. So there you have it even right there. Right there, it clearly tells you that black people was created for hell and the white people was created for heaven. And this is Allah's standard and he don't care what nobody says. That's what it says. Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said, Allah created Adam. When he created him, he struck his right shoulder and there emitted it from it was white offspring, as if they were white ants. Then he struck his left shoulder and there came from it black offspring as if they were charcoal. So the white people came out of Adam's right arm and the black people came out of Adam's left arm. 
he then said to those who have been emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and I do not mind. In other words, you were created for heaven and that's the way it is. That's the end all to be all. I don't care what nobody say. White people were created for heaven. Then he said this. Then he said to those who have been emitted from his left shoulder, the black people, they are for hell and I do not mind. Y'all were created for hell. Don't matter what nobody says, this is it. So again, and I could just keep going on and on. So every time I hear somebody saying they're black Muslim, I know one thing, they ignorant. They don't look into the truth. They base their eternal soul on a lie because they want to belong to be a part of something. And they do not have no idea of what they doing. Okay. They call themselves rejecting Christianity to get away from the white man. When in reality, you accepted Islam and ran to the white man because Jesus is not white. Jesus is black, even though it shouldn't matter about his color to some degree. I'm going to say to some degree because it does matter also to some degree or it wouldn't been that way. But we don't more so look at the color. We look at the things he done to prove who he was. So every time I see or oh, hear black people saying they Muslims, I already know they don't read, they don't study, they don't have no idea. They just born with the flow because they want to belong to become a part of something, you know. So I, 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 let's hope them brothers get up out of that. So Muslim Poppy is going to be going up against Mike P. As Muslim Poppy is going to be going up against Mike P. Hmm, Mike P just won a lot of money. Mike P really, really big. You know what? I got Mike P winning this fight. I got Mike P winning this fight. I'm going to keep it real. I think he got a lot to prove. I think he want to show battle rap. Mike P need this fight. All the scrutiny that's been around him, his battle rap career for the most part has been over as a result of the Ashley situation. And so many people look at him as being a sucker and a scrub. I feel sorry for Muslim Poppy. I think Mike P is finna show off on that man because he need to actually reestablish himself. He need to take that shame off him. And the only way he can do that is by showing the people he actually can fight and throw hands because right now the battle rap community look at him as being some type of sucker for love, lame, wussy. And I believe that's one of the reasons why he's taking this fight. So he can get the shame off his name. So I feel sorry for Muslim Poppy. I'm keeping it real. He got that white boy rage in him. And you know, the white boy got them hard heads too. So why them brothers be trying to Go to the head. You're not hurting that white man. He used to breaking cans off his damn head. He used to hitting his head against the wall. They do that. They do that when they were kids. They do that when they be three, four years old. So, mm -mm. I got Mike P on that. Then you have. Gwitty and Stiz, like I said, I don't know who might win that. It is what it is. Gwitty, uh, Gwitty, I don't know. Stiz, Stiz got a lot to prove. Stiz better win that fight. Stiz have to win that fight. Let me tell you why. Gwitty ain't really known as one of them dudes in the battle rap community. But Stiz got a name and reputation on the Philly streets as being one of those dudes. Which means... There's a lot at stake for him, especially when he still want to be respected in the streets and being around street dudes and actually putting your reputation on the line to go up against Gwitty as a person for the most part in the community who not really respected like that to the point of battle rap superstardom. So you have a lot to prove there. You have to win that fight or it's going to be a lot of stripes taken from you. And you know, people start to try you. You know what's crazy about boxing? You know what's crazy about boxing? People tend to try you because somebody else, they think if somebody else beat you, they could beat you. They'll be like, oh, oh that's why you lost to such and such. They'll be like, oh, that's why you lost to Al. Oh, that's why you lost to Mike P. 
Oh, that's why you lost the gritty. You let them kick your butt as if they could do it. As if they could do it. So they tend to think because somebody else did it, they could do it. Don't that be crazy? But no, it don't work like that. Not at all. Some fights we should see on here that we wish we could see. Um, Coffee and Miss Hustle. They should be on this card. Try to see if you can get them on the card. We definitely know we get we should try to get at least Math and Disaster or Math and Serious Jones. Let's see if we can get them on the card. That 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 right there would be very good too to see if we can get them. Debo and Caps. Somebody said that. They said, in fact. When Suge first made this announcement and put it out there, that's what he said, Debo and Caps, y'all want to get in the ring? You know what's crazy? If Caps' arm wasn't messed up, I would I would have took Caps over Debo on some real stuff. I would have took Caps on some Debo stuff if his arm wasn't messed up. Because Caps ain't really a little dude. Keeping it real, Cap, you, it, Cap come off like he a little dude. He really ain't little. He got a little size to him. However, but I also know he could get crazy. We we saw that, right? You saw he wanted to, and he had that liquor in him. He had that. I know. See, that's the thing. See, liquor sometimes give you that courage. But I saw Sony slap Debo, okay? I ain't buying none of that, okay? She slapped him. And he said, who you what you hit me for? What you touch me for? I ain't buying it. Then you swung off on caps. That didn't really fade him neither. I wouldn't be realistically to take caps over you when he had a disadvantage because one of his arms ain't really right. He can't really make a fist with that arm. But from what I saw, from what I seen, I would take caps over you. Just keeping it real. If his other arm was okay. I'm just keeping it real. Um, I would love to see that. Could we get a Yoshi and 40 bars? Mm, that probably wouldn't go so well. But if you got boxing gloves on, it might be different. It might be different. You know. Um, could we get an easy to block captain versus Tay Rock? Mm. Mm. I would have loved to say easy to block captain versus Muslim Poppy. I would have loved to say that they need to switch that, they should have easy to block captain boxing Muslim Poppy. And they should have Mike P boxing rider. I would like to see that. I would like to see that. You 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 could you could put both of them to the put both of them in that. You know. Um Bridge Roth thing and Mook. Mike can line that up. I'm taking Mook in that fight. I wouldn't take Briggs. Like, Briggs is too emotional. He don't know how to take a punch. He, he crazy. He crazy. So, yeah, I would like to, I would have liked to sing that. But however, it's going down, and this going to be something exciting to see. This is something I want to see. Because I'm going to tell you, this going to make a lot of money, too. This going to make a lot of money. Listen, Shotgun Shugman, let me tell y'all something. When y'all doing these pay-per-views in this community, let me tell you something to help you, man. You better reach out to these bloggers. Y'all better reach out to these bloggers if you don't want them bootlegging your stuff. You better reach out to these bloggers, and you better try to build a relationship just for the sake of the money. Just for the sake of the money. I'm just keeping it 100 with you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to support it. I'm going to buy it. But y'all should get these bloggers involved for the sake of the money if you want it to be a successful event. The bootlegging is definitely up. And a lot of these bloggers don't care because y'all tend to 
not care about them, so they don't care about y'all. I'm just telling you. That being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. Ain't my judgment that's some question is yours. This is gonna be a good event because it's something different to battle rap. It's something that they've been trying to do for years. Now that they're finally going down, we get to see something different. We get the rip, you know. So this gonna this gonna do well, but it'll do so much better if y'all got the bloggers involved and really, really build relationships. 